welcome to the round two of the Green Bay Packers Dallas Cowboys. Finally, I get a chance to play after sitting through the other seven games. Go ahead and take a look at the history of these two teams. Season one, the Dallas Cowboys finished in second place in the division with a nine six or nine five and one record, and they got the wild card spot. Packers finished with a 9-7 record, also wild card spot. They also slightly better than the Packers. The Dallas Cowboys got beat in round one against the Rams. The Packers beat the Vikings in round one. They moved up and beat the 49ers in round two. Got beat in the NFC Championship by the New York Giants. So, season two, Dallas Cowboys. Went undefeated, winning their division 16 and all. Packers, I went 12, 2 and 2, winning my division. We were the first and second seed team in the league. So both of us had a buy in round one. Round two, the Cowboys beat the 49ers 31 7. Me as the Packers beat the New Orleans Saints 42 7. The NFC Championship, I got beat by the Cowboys 35 21. We'll take a look at this season. Um, whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. Dallas Cowboys won their division 12 and 4. Second season in a row they won their division. This season, I uh, also won my division 13 and 3. I had a slightly better record than them. I had the first seed this time. So last season Dallas had first seed, I had second, 49ers had third. This season I had first, 49ers have second. Dallas has third. So let's see how we do. This is gonna be quite interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna win or not. Whoever wins this game goes to the NFC championship against the Philadelphia Eagles. At least I got home field advantage. check my offense and defense players because they're just they're being the same as they were last game. Blue, 43, blue, 43. Cut, cut, cut. After sitting through seven games not playing, it feels pretty good to have the controller back in my hand. Cut. Oh. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, we get to change our play too then. Cut. Touchdown. See now, if I would have gone for that running play that I was going to do, I probably wouldn't have got the touchdown. So I'm feeling pretty good so far. I just hope I can keep it up. Let's check my players. Yeah, Reggie White's in bad condition, isn't he? Yep. Got Sean Jones in there instead. So now. That was such a tough team because they got Emmett Smith, who's the fastest runner in the league. They got Troy Aikman, who's a good quarterback. They've got Michael Irvington, who's a good receiver. So they're pretty good everywhere offensively. Blue, 43! Blue, 43! Cut, 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 cut! Cool. I want to take him back into the end zone, though. I want to get a little insurance. Ready, cut! my defense. Wow, 
fourth and three, they're gonna punt. Now they might fake it. I'm gonna, I picked fake run. They probably won't fake it this early in the game, but you never know. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. So close. It was George Kunso. At least that time they showed me the name. Sometimes you don't know a name, but... Look at that. I'm on the two-yard line. It's this first time I'm one. so far. Hopefully I can keep it up and go to the NFC Championship and hopefully I can break the curse where I don't get beat in the NFC Championship again, but I'm really not too afraid of the Philadelphia Eagles. The only reason the Eagles got really good is because of, because of a design flaw giving the Eagles home field advantage that they, that they shouldn't have gotten. Both the teams they played were better than them. Smith keeps trying to run up the middle and it's like we just got a brick wall right, Blue, 43. Blue, 43. right there. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, he must have heard me. Look at that. First down. Guy runs like 140 miles an hour. because cut, cut, cut. Dallas is one team that doesn't have any problems scoring. Third and 17, Emmett Smith can easily make it look like two steps when he's got that. Blue, 48. Cut, cut, cut. Blocked. Oh, I thought it was going to be that would have been cool. Going for a field goal from, oh, I guess, around the 29 yard line. I'm going to guess they're going to fake run it. Kicked it right through my player's head. Oh, 
Bam. And we're going into the second quarter. Kind of check my guys, see how they are. Detmer is a fail, but Farb is great. Wilson's a fail. Chimera. Well, let's check the running backs first. Thompson loses a receiver. Thompson and Cobb can come in. Okay, receivers. Red Butler, excellent. Okay, so this should be a good quarter for us. Blue, 48! Blue, 48! Cut! Cut! Robert Brooks, wide open. Blitz. I was ready for it though. Ready. Cut. Cut. I pressed the button like at least twice. Safety. Check my defense. Ready White still fail. Ron David can come in. Ian Simmons is a fail. Mitchell's the only one that can come in. Don't need him. back in the end zone. Blue, 48, blue, 48, we do this almost every cut, single game. Cut, we can do cut, it this time. Cut, cut. Just not taking it back far enough though. Blue, I'll make an blue, amazing pass here and they'll cut, catch it. Cut, cut. Cut. Every single time. It's pretty sad when I can predict it. And whenever they really desperately need to make that catch in the back of the end zone, they always do it. defenseman just kind of tried doing a two-hand touch and then let him go. So they're going to be putting some points on the board here. Caught it with his butt cheeks. He wasn't even facing the other way. Blue, 
Okay, got right on top of him, but yeah, no, no problem. One of those games where we're gonna cheat. You gotta be kidding me. He dove to the left. And I was above him and he still got me. That would have been my first kickoff return touchdown and they cheated. And how come every time I get close to the end zone they know exactly what play I'm going to do? Blue, 43! Blue, 43! I said it earlier, I had a 14 0 lead, but I said Dallas has no problem scoring, and that's exactly what it shows, shows right there. Here's my point. Even though I'm winning, I'm still extremely unhappy about that kickoff return. I should have had a touchdown. The guy dove to the left, and somehow he still tackled me. Oh, was my shoelace really long and he grabbed it? That was a kick fail. Time. Hopefully, Radio will get some better. Okay, rushing yards. I only got 12, they got 32. Passing yards, I got 139, they got 128. Look at that. They're up yarding me 161, 51, but I'm still winning 21 to 11. So, it shows that I'm working a lot harder. Is it? I got 21 points out of only 151 yards. I've only got 11 points out of 160. I got five first downs, I got two. Sacks are tied at one, no interceptions, no fumbles. Now we can retry our kick a little bit better. Well, Reggie White, if Packers won the Super Bowl, I don't think Reggie deserves a Super Bowl ring because he's just sitting on the bench being a loser. Davey and Brown we can bring in. Jones and White hasn't changed. Jones is only average. So my defense isn't going to look too good this quarter again. Mitchell Evans and Harris can all come in. Now we got to find a replacement. Oh, Sterling can come in. All my defensive, all my number one defensive players are wow, terrible this quarter. Cut, 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 cut. Wow, We could just get him in the end zone right here. Blue, 43, blue, 43. But if they go for a cut, passing play, it would be a miraculous cut, catch. Cut. That was nasty. I'm going to try to run it. I got two players coming right at me and nobody to block. Demmer can come in for far, and he will. Check 
check my running backs. Cop coming in, so can Tom Thompson. Oops, Wilson's running back. Okay, West can come in. West and Lewis can both come in. We don't need them though, so I can't really rely on actually I'm gonna put Cobb in for Bennett because I'm gonna have to rely more on run my running game because all my my quarter, even my quarterback's doing terrible. that time. Kept the ball in the stadium and everything. Didn't throw it across the street. I just wish Reggie White would get back. Back. He's been in bad condition for at least four quarters, including the last game. We haven't seen a safety yet this cut, game. I want to get one. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, and how nice Sean Jones just got pushed over like a little, a little girl getting pushed by a pro wrestler. See, they always make those big catches right when they're at the end zone. Blue, 43, blue, 43. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, Dallas has a touchdown coming up. Right, then Butler chasing him. It's predictable as a Disney movie. Let's go for the two-point conversion because it might make a difference. Ready, set, cut, cut, cut. No good. Cool. Detmer will probably throw an interception here. Cut, cut, so even though I'm up by 11 cut, points, I'm still cut, not going to feel too comfortable. Cut, I'm not going to sit back and relax. So I know they could cheat and ruin my day at any point. Out having against the Buffalo Bills, I was should have had no problem winning that game. They cheated at the end. I don't remember exactly what happened in that game, but I remember they cheated, and I was very unhappy. Okay, I was like on the goal line. How many other playoff games did we see where they weren't, were not even near the goal line, and? Well, they're Blue, near it, but they weren't on it or cut, touching cut, it or over cut, it or anything. Cut, 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 cut. Down. That's kind of weird. I 
cut sounds sound like you got shot out of some type of air tube. I'm starting to feel a little more confident about this game, and if I win this game, I'd feel extremely confident about winning the Super Bowl this season. This is the first full season I've ever played in this game. Ready! Set! Cut! Cut! Blue! 43! Blue! See, every time. Nine out of ten times when they throw a passing play from their own end zone, it's complete. Is Reggie White still going to be failing? Of course. It's five quarters in a row now. Can't put any of them losers in. Simmons can come in. I'll replace Coons. Teague, Evans, and Butler. Butler can come back in. So we're going to put Butler right here and Harris right there. 69 and 50. 69 and 81. They both have the same maximum speed. I'll put Butler in anyway. Ready! Set! Cut! 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 Look at that, Sean Johnson just gets knocked over. It's like a pickup truck hitting an old lady. Nice to be able to... You know, Emmett Smith should try two sports. He should, put... he should go out for NASCAR. He probably wouldn't even need a car. He could just run alongside of him. Because in this game, he can run like as fast as any NASCAR Red, can go. 32, Red, 32. That's cut, one sport cut, we have not cut, seen on my YouTube channel is NASCAR. But I just not have no interest in NASCAR at all. I mean, Mario Kart is a racing game that I like because you can shoot items at each other. That makes it pretty fun. Okay, we'll see how Detmer does. Sharp can stay in. Cobb will keep him in there. Lewis can come in if necessary. West is a failure. Oops. Wilson, is he a receiver? No, he's a running back, and he's a terrible one back, so. Who was it? Lewis, we could put in. And it looks like... Are you kidding me? Okay, Edgar Ben is going to be playing as a receiver because everyone else is terrible. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to take Sharp out of this running back spot. I'll put Cod here in the hall and bend it down there. Chick Thompson, he's... Nah, not good enough. Okay, so Sterling Sharp's going to be receiving now. Reggie the corn cob. 
wonder how many people call me back in high school. Oh, run, idiot. Might call them cobweb, too. See, I could press the audible button like four times before it finally showed up. Idiot. Controller is just getting bad, but as long as I don't get blitz here, I shouldn't have any problem getting the first down. Okay, that's a late hit. I'm out of bounds. Okay, Red Cobb's supposed to have all this hitting power. Why doesn't it work? Blue, 48! Blue, 48! Probably gonna blitz me here. No sack me. What was that? It's like three yards off. Detmer, you don't even deserve to be in the NFL. He's in excellent condition too. Imagine if he was in bad condition, he probably would have thrown it the opposite direction. Yeah, see, I knew that was coming. Yeah, eat it up. We'll see who's cheering after the game. So we shouldn't have to worry about winning anymore. Emmett Smith can run. He can probably run about 300 yards in a minute 15. Red, 24. Cut, cut. Oh, Michael Irvin just spun right through another player like a ghost. Blue, 48! Blue, 48! Cut, cut! 
first down though. I want to get, get my hopes up. Cool. Let's see if we can do one more touchdown pass in the last four seconds. Didn't need it, but I'll take it. yards and had only 25 points, so I was more productive, scoring points within the yards that I had. I had more first downs, 10-8, sacks were tied at 2, no interceptions or fumbles. Barb had 75% passing for 214 yards, Troy Aikman, 64% for 245 yards. Sterling Sharp led in rushing for 31, but Brooks led in receiving, he had a quite a few yards there, 201 yards. Emmett Smith, of course, led Dallas in rushing, Harper led in receiving. And that is the end of the game. Next game we're going to see the Denver Broncos and the Pittsburgh Steelers for the AFC Championship. And we've got the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship. And I really don't have any concerns there. I mean, I'm kind of in a... It seems like there's a curse on me the last two seasons in a row. I can win the, the NFC Championship. But the Eagles aren't really that good of a team. Hopefully they don't get home field advantage, giving them the cheap victory that they got the last two times. Of course, I've got to admit that first game was pretty interesting. Minnesota had a 14-0 lead in the first quarter. Philadelphia was able to tie it up, go into overtime, and win it with a field goal. Yeah. Next game, we're going to see the Denver Broncos, Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh should have home field advantage, but you just never know. I can tell you this much, if Pittsburgh's got home field advantage in this game, we'll see the Green Bay Packers with home field advantage in the NFC game. If Denver's got home field advantage here, we're going to see Philadelphia with home field advantage. So, it's kind of got the same pattern going in both conferences. So, hope you enjoyed the game. We'll see you in the next video.